Chung Lee. A member of Interpol has vowed to fight crime at the international level. When it came to fighting crime, the self-proclaimed strongest woman in the world have even teamed up with the likes of Kami, Gao, and Ryu. She has Kiko Ken, a lightning kick. And according to Jules Marvel 2 tier list, she's currently ranked as the second character in F tier. But even with her placement in the tier list, what is it that makes Chung Li a worthy opponent? To understand this question, we need to watch today's episode of Dad and Kids Play One. What's good, everybody? I'm Dad from Dad and Kids Play One, and this is Chung Li Move List from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. We're going to go over all Chung Li moves and discuss tips and strategies to help you learn to play the character better. Also, if you like these type of videos, then consider giving it a like and maybe a subscribe. Thanks. Before we cover the special moves, first let us take a look at the basic attacks. Okay, starting off this list is the Kiko Ken. This move is Chung Lee's projectile attack. To do this move, do a half circle forward and press any punch button. The light punch version travels at a slower pace, while the fierce punch variation moves much faster. Both versions of the move only score for one hit. The Kiko Ken moves much slower than the standard projectile, so most likely, you're better off using the Furious Punch version. Also, this move is not really combo friendly, but still use it to zone and to apply pressure. Up next, is the attack called a spinning air kick. This move is Chung Li's anti-air. To do the attack, do a dragon punch motion plus any kick button. The light kick version has less of a vertical range, while the fierce kick variation has more height and it scores for five hits. This move has fast startup time and it's an excellent combo finisher. It's even possible to combo into this from a launcher. I know I've said this many times before, only go with the fierce version if you know you will connect for sure. Otherwise, Light Kick is your safest option. So, the Lightning Kick is known as Chung Lee Trademark Attack. To do the move, rapidly press any kick button. This move has one of the fastest startup times ever. It works excellent in combos, and you can even do this technique in midair. The only criticism I have with this move is you have to have fast enough fingers to initiate the attack. If you have button press speed, then you will have a move that will come out almost instantly. This move is Chun Li's flip over heel kick. 
To do the attack, do a half circle back plus any kick button. So this attack is an overhead, meaning that it needs to be blocked high. The light kick version has a higher arc and it doesn't move far. The fierce kick variation has less height, but it travels much further. So with that being said, use the fierce kick version as a sneaky way to get closer to the opponent. The light kick version has a lot of height, but it can be seen coming a mile away. Chung Lee has two normal throws, press forward and fierce punch to execute her fierce punch throw. Press forward and fierce punch in midair for an aerial fierce punch throw. So Chung Lee has quite a few command normals in Marvel 2. To do the air dash, press forward twice or both punches while in midair. To do a triple jump, press up three times. Press down the fierce kick to do a head stomp while in midair. When using this in tandem with the triple jump, it's possible to do the head stomp three times before landing. To do the close range fireball, press forward and first punch. And that's it. To do the neck breaker, press down plus first kick. To do the jump in long kick, Press forward plus serious kick while in midair. Chung Lee has one launcher in the game. Press serious kick for the standard launcher. You can do Chung Lee's taunt by pressing the select button. Alternatively, hold light kick and press start if you're playing the Dreamcast version. So the first hyper I would like to cover is called the Kiko Show. This is the move where Chung Lee does a massive energy attack based on her fireball. To do the move, do a quarter circle forward plus both punch buttons. This move can be done only on ground. It has a large radius and it's very possible to catch area opponents with it. The good news about this hyper is that it's invincible at the startup. The bad news is very punishable on block. The second hyper combo on the list is called Senretsu Yaku. This is where Chung Lee will rush the enemy with the lightning kick. To do the attack, do a quarter circle forward plus both kick buttons. This hyper does decent damage when it connects, but this attack is not safe on block. Also, 
This hybrid can be combo into, but it's very hard to do so. It can be done from a crouching fierce kick, but keep in mind that the sweeping attack is rollable. There you go. So the final hyper i like to discuss is called the Haizan Tenshu Yaku. This is where Chung Li does a hyper based on the spinning air kick. To do this hyper, do a dragon punch motion plus both kick buttons. This attack comes out very fast. The problem is that it's a vertical attack that doesn't have any range. This move really puts me in the mind of Psylocke's Maelstrom and Ken Shin Shoruken. Oh, that's a tongue twister. The Tencho Yaku does moderate damage and should only be used in combos. You can execute this move from a launcher. Here's what to expect when you use Chung Li as an assist character. Chung Li's alpha assist would throw a fierce punch, Kiko Ken. Her beta assist would use a fierce spinning air kick. And her gamma assist would do a fierce kick, Seninchu. Overall, Chung Li has both amazing speed and agility. Her movement in the air is pure mastery at best, and her triple jumps can leave opponents guessing. She has a great rushdown game, but only when used properly. However, even with her speed, she doesn't have many options when it comes to nailing the opponent. Two of her hypers are not safe on block, where the last one will leave you wide open if you miss. I guess what I'm trying to say is, she has poor recovery time. It was stated that she was heavily nerfed in Marvel 2, and I can honestly see that. With that being said, here are some tips to help your gameplay with Chung Lee. Chung Lee is a team player for sure. She needs assistance to help open opponents up and without the help of her teammates, it can lead to an uphill fight. Whenever you hate something the enemy, it resets your jump assist counter so you'll be able to summon another assist. You can OTG the Saretsu Yaku from a crouching fierce kick. Keep in mind that the fierce kick is rollable. She has an infinite, but it only works on big and tall characters. Whenever using Chung Li as an assist, make sure to use the beta one, which is the fierce kick spinning air kick. Well, that's it for this week installment. And like I said before, please let me know in the comment section who you would like to see me cover next in the Marvel and Capcom series. I'm Dad Mishima from Dad and Kids Play One. Hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you next game. Peace out.